My name is Harry Shum Jr. and let's take a first look. I met a girl, I fell in love, and I want to marry her. You're Nicholas Young, you're untouchable. But Rachel's not. Have you prepped Rachel to face the wolves? You know I'm back, like I never left. I really admire you. It takes guts coming all the way over here, facing Nick's family. Another day, another breath. I know this much. You will never be enough. Yo, it's about time someone stood up to Aunt Eleanor. Well, you, not me. Oh, God. She can't know I was ever here. I feel glorious, glorious. Got a chance to stop me. I was born for this, born for this. Ever since I can remember, my family has been my whole life. Rachel, Rachel. If Nick chose me, he would lose his family. And if he chose his family, he might spend the rest of his life resenting you. You nasty. You got a nasty. You got nastier. Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. We are at the world premiere for Crazy Rich Asians, based on the best-selling book by Kevin Kwan. Let's take a first look. John, I've worked with him since Step Up 2. He's, he's incredible. Uh, you know, he gave me kind of like my first really acting gig. Uh, and what was it like for you this time uh, around? Yeah, it was it was weird. I mean, I'll let him uh, speak on it, but I remember when he saw me when I came on uh, on set, he saw me as like a little teenage boy kind of, you know, and, and I, I we haven't worked together in, in, since. And, and usually I would do a lot more dance jobs with him and seeing me kind of come in and a little more grown, he was just, he kept stopping. He's like, this is, this is really surreal to see you all grown up. Um, so it's really special for me to, to kind of uh, to be a part of this and and to be part of this vision. Yeah, what's so it like sorry. to get the call to be in Crazy Rich Asians for you? Well, John Chu and I are friends, and, and we had a meeting, and I and I told John, I said, whatever, whatever you need from me, brother. Like, if I'm, if you want me to be in a movie, great. If you don't, either way, I'll be here on the carpet. I'll be here promoting it because the movie is bigger than us. So. There was not really, there wasn't really a pitch to be in it so much as just like, kind of a, a pitch of love. Like, hey man, just uh, I'm just down to do whatever you know. I just want to support and love it. So, and hence here we are. So, um, and and through that, John and I become really good friends. And and I and I have other friends that I've worked with. You know, like Constance Wu, and I'm hanging out with my boy Jimmy, and just there's so many people. It's like the it's like the Asian Avengers. I mean, if it's Warner Brothers, it's Asian Justice League, you know, it really is. It really is. Um, I'm feeling all the feels that I'm feeling right now, except for sadness, you know. It's kind of crazy. Wait, wait, so which Avenger are you? Um, I'm Hawkeye with bad posture, and um, I'm an older Asian Hawkeye. So I interviewed a bunch of you guys a couple months ago at the... Um, Chinese New Year! Oh, you? Yes! Hi. Oh my god! You guys had just finished a screening of the movie. We did! Yes. In February, yes. yes! So, with all, like, with the big rush yeah. to this day, yeah. how does it feel to actually be standing here at the premiere? Um, it feels completely surreal, I think, because it isn't just a moment about the movie being, you know, going out to the world, being released to the world. It's about a dream that we all had as kids, I think, because I think a lot of us are immigrants. I came from uh, China to England when I was five, and I remember just, like, watching TV and reading magazines and going, like, why does no one look like me? You know, I've got a different name, and I, I there's no Asians in my class, and I'm so, I feel like a weird kid, and everything I do is weird, and my parents feed my friends weird food, and, like, they seem to like it, but I still think it's weird. Um, and to, like, also progressing through my acting career and being like, oh, so I can only play prostitutes, illegal immigrants that need visas and uh, people who work in takeaways and I all have to speak with an accent and I studied law so I was like I don't just I don't say that that doesn't exist but like it's not the only story that we're telling and to have this like now that's what this moment represents it's not just about us releasing a movie it's about going look we are we are here and we're normal people and we're wonderful people please see that side to us and I just hope it changes the world you've had an amazing year I mean your book Silicon Valley and then Crazy Rich Asians this, I think, caps off everything, and it's everything that we ever could wish to work on, and, 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 and it's a picture that's so much bigger than us on an individual level, and all of us are just so proud, and for me, in a personal level, I just made such great friends on this movie that I actually love, and, I, and made a film that we all actually love. It, it's been an incredible experience. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I'm about to go inside 
grab my seat and watch Crazy Rich Agents. Tell me what you guys think about the movie in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm Kira Lynn. We'll check in next time.